And good morning, everybody. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Let me turn on the forward facing light. Oh, Lord. People ask me questions like, why didn't you move to Colorado? And I kind of look at them and I said, if I move towards the mountain states, I'll probably pick Utah. <clears throat> I don't drink that much. I like the Mormons and the Latter day Saints. I don't like people. So yeah, Utah would be all right for me. Colorado, it's a blue state full of idiots. Yeah, everybody says, but it's so mountainous and great and wonderful and all this pristine wilderness. I keep telling them, you're a mountain state. They keep looking at me like I stepped on their cat. And I keep telling them, history of Colorado was tough. Okay, before they had the trains go up the incline, they used to have dry people in, uh, whatchamacallit, not Conestogas, um, it's a type of freight wagon up there. And they used to have draft forces die on the way. Okay, elevation and degree of angle. They solved that problem during the 1860s and 1870s and 1880s. Killed a lot of people, <coughs> but they did it. Sorry about coughing, <coughs> hay fever. I got the windows open this morning and the fans roaring by. So I'm dropping the temperature inside the house by 20 degrees. Simple tricks. And I got a dislike for helping out a friend, Lee, a co-war prepper because somebody didn't like prepping ideas okay all right if you come around and start bitching and nancy it or brad it i wonder what what's the range i could pop their heads off so like i said folks uncle i already warned people about this i'm kind of tired and reason colorado looks pretty but they don't look underneath that beauty. It's like model A and model B and nice local girl. I'll date the local girl because model A has a problem. Model B has a problem. Local girl knows what she's doing and she cooks. Models A and B would probably be a drug addict, marry some rich guy, have mental problems. Okay, same with Colorado. Probably on drugs, have mental problems, don't know what the hell they do in the kitchen. Okay, Colorado has a long past history being difficult. Also warfare too. Not military, but private. Like shooting coal miners, killing people, having cattle wars. All the nice things in history. I read a lot of history. So, like I tell people, it looks beautiful, but once you peel off the beauty, it's ugly as hell. Also, it's Colorado. Okay, it's not an ideal bug out location. Okay, if you get cut off from your main supplies, where does food come from? What? Well, comes from the grocery store, comes from the supermarket. It comes from Walmart. <coughs> I wonder about people. Okay. You're in trouble. And you, Colorado next to you has a really short growing season. And where the hell are you going to get the feed from? If you're late raising livestock. If it wasn't for gold and a few other things, nobody would live in Colorado. They give it back to the Indians. Even the Indians don't want to live there. Most of the Indians in Colorado were nomadic. They don't like Colorado. Nobody likes Colorado. Okay? Other than its natural beauty and elevation, there's not too much going for Colorado. And people quote me, but Uncle Al, you're wrong about that. Okay? I always look for three things. 
your water source, natural resources. You can't eat pine trees. And number three, can you get resupply? And it fails all three. Okay. And I'll see you later. I'll let you think about that. I'll be seeing you, but think about that and try to do something good this week. It's Monday. When Uncle Alan dressed like this, I'm going to the office and I got to do a lot of paperwork. We still need money. Always raising funds. Down in the description below. And people wonder why Uncle Alan picked a small city because Uncle Alan shut knows what a good bug out location. Those idiots who say, let's go into the woods with a backpack are the same people Uncle Alan getting his. Okay, you can check out the doggy video. Getting enough police force or security force to hunt these idiots down, arrest them, either put them in a mental facility or in jail. You don't, if you're in a nice area and it's secured and then you have crazy people roaming around in the, in the surrounding areas of the pack, pack and a gun, what do you think they are? Okay, not normal. Oh, uh, we're bugging out. Why? Uh, we lost the touch of reality. Okay, take the guns away, put them in a nice safe hospital, Shave their heads, put the armband MH, and make sure they wear a white styrofoam helmet. But I can survive there. Okay, we'll give you stuff back, and we're going to put you out there when it's 11 below. But I'm going to die. Yeah, basically, you're in a fantasy. That's why you're in a hospital. That's why we're giving you medication and probably Uncle Alan's going to do a little surgery on your brains. It won't hurt. It's not a lobotomy. I figured out a way to improve the lob lobotomization in the brain. Instead of taking a needle and going doo 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 doo, Uncle Alan's going to put in mi microchips, nanobots in your head. Little zap with a laser, put in a nanobot, and you're normal. Because Uncle Alan is not a nice guy when you push him. And you have a nice day. Remember, folks, Stacey Abrams getting $40 million more. Can you help Uncle Al and send $2.17, description down below, to help him out getting food boxes out? I got two weeks and I still have to do $199. So if you want to help out, send money. And if you want the way everything's going right now, no baby formula, high gas prices, Captain Crazy, I didn't vote for him, then don't send $2.17. Can you know what happens when 2 million people send Uncle Al $2.17? All this craziness goes away. But they won't do it. And I'll be seeing you folks. You have a nice day. Try to do something very nice and very good for your neighborhood. Bye now.